and now we are going to see topic stress and strain which we are going to see equation of equilibrium constitutive law strain displacement relationship and then compatibility equations first we will see the introduction to stress let us take an element and cutting it into a normal and there is a small finite area which is delta a this is the normal plane and some different pressures are acting in different direction on this body so there will be a delta p acting in this direction so we have to go and in general this delta p is not normal to delta a so it can be resolved into two components one is the normal component the other one is the tangential component something like this so this is the my delta p so this is the delta p normal and delta p shear the normal stress sigma is given as limit this delta a extends to zero delta p n by delta a and shear stress is given by from this limit delta a tends to zero delta p s by delta a so the resultant is given by root of sigma square plus tau square so it is the force divided by area the stress and the force can be resolved into two component normal force and tangential force this normal component gives normal stress and this tangential component gives the shear stress so now we we'll see the sign convention we are going to follow x y z on this surface so there are 
have six phases. This is the center of this phase and this point is center of this phase. This is the top one. This is the bottom one. And this is the front one. And this is the side. So to avoid, to avoid confusion, I have put the diagonals. Now let us take this space. This is the sigma x. And this CS stress will be tau xy and tau xz. Here it will be acting in the opposite direction tau xy and tau xz. So similarly, on the top surface it is sigma z tau xz and tau yz. So this is in y direction, sorry this is sigma y and yz is this, this is in sigma z and sigma z and it will be having tau z y and tau Zx. Similarly, opposite will be in opposite direction. So we have seen on each phase there is a normal stress and two tangential stress. Using this notation, we will be writing the equation of equilibrium. We have seen the direct and shear stresses on the face opposite sides and which is like this. So this face and this face. So they are not equal but it is differing by a small amount. Since this is having a thickness delta x, delta y and delta z, so using that we will be writing, let us say in for example in z plane, the stress is sigma z and in z plus delta z plane, using the Taylor series it is sigma z plus dou sigma z by dou z into delta z. Similarly, for x it is sigma x plus dou sigma x by dou x into delta x and y it is Z. 
Ну, да, нормально. Um, using the following assumptions like tau y x is equal to tau x y and similarly tau z x equal to tau x z we can simplify the equation now taking moment and adding these th these things we'll be getting dou sigma x by dou x plus dou tau y x by dou y plus dou tau z x by dou z plus x equal to zero this is the body force similarly we will be getting two more equation which will be having y and z now using this simplification the final equations can be written as Sigma x by dou x is dou tau. Previously it was y x, now it is x by dou y plus dou tau x z by dou z plus x equal to zero. So these are the three equations of equilibrium. So these three equations has to be satisfied at all internal points. In a deformable body. So it has to be satisfied at all internal points in a deformable body of a 3D in a three, this is in three dimensions. So these are the three equations of equilibrium. Now let us move on to the constitutive law. So the constitutive law kills the relation between stress and strain in three dimensional linear element. The direct direct strain is given by of x is sigma x by e and e is the x modulus and this is famously known as Hooke's law so this directly gives the relation between stress and strain and e is the x modulus